guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at Clawful, one of the newer Origins um, bad guys. So, um, I just double, <laughs> I just double guessed myself if he was a bad guy and he's fighting Tila in the back, so I'm good to go. But um, this is Clawful. He is the warrior with the grip of evil and it says make his dreadful claw grab and hold. So he is gonna be pretty cool. Um, On the back here we have, like I said, a really cool um, image of him fighting Tila. He has, who is in the background? Um, Whiplash is in the background. He's a really, I am excited for him to be a figure. He's really cool. And just really cool scene. They're like fighting in the water. Really neat. It says, um, Clawful's crushing brutality and cunning intellect make him um, one of He-Man's more vicious enemies. So really cool. And then this is that whole line then. As always, we have He-Man Skeletor. They're always supposed to be out there. And then Sun Man, the Horde Trooper, Anti-Eternia He-Man, and Clawful. Um, I have all of those to show you, um, but I've but you guys have seen Sun Man. So if you want to see my Sun Man review, you can go on my page and check them out. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these reviews. So um, let's get this open and I will be right back. Okay, first the mini comic. Um, this mini comic is the same one that is going to be in all of these um, figures in this wave. Um, I think that image of Clawful and Skeletor is so funny and cute. Um, they're like, oh no, it's Sun Man. So that's really cool. And then um, the mini comic features the characters that are in that wave. So we have Clawful and Anti-Eternia He-Man in there. It's just really, really cool. I love that they do this mini comics. It's one of my favorite things about um, the figures. So um, Clawful is really cool. I love the texture that is on his head. Um, I think it's really cool and um, his arms, like his little claw hands are cool. So here is his little action of opening, let's see, okay, opening and closing his claw. It's really cool. And then he's got a claw for this other hand that does not open and close. Um, his legs are like his feet are cool his legs are cool he's got like the the little um reptilian he's not a reptile but you guys know what i mean he's got like these little things on the sides um his chest piece is solid but it it um should come off so it has little tabs on the side that come off if you guys are totally new to the origins figures these are just like the vintage ones but um they have all the articulations so yeah he's just got like regular chest underneath there and then he has like this um i don't know what you would call it like a a mace thing it doesn't really say oh it does say mace. It says mace right on it. I am learning things and remembering things. So the only thing is that I could not figure out how he actually can hold this in like a real position. So that's about is. It's just because this part doesn't open and close. So then he can't hold it tight. And then this part opens and closes. But then his claw is kind of too big to be able to hold it, which is really weird. So um, anyway, this is cool. I like it. I do like the shape of it. It looks really neat. It's a cool weapon. Um, but yeah, you guys, tell me what you think. Um, I have actually seen um, him in the stores um, pretty often. He's got a little bit of extra silver silver paint on him. I have seen him in the stores. Um, he's one of the ones that I have seen. Um, let me know if you see him, if you have him, what you think, if you like him. Um, yeah. And I will see you guys next time. Um, and happy toy hunting. 